Hello guys and welcome to the third installment of the Off Grid Helium Build Guide. At this point in the series we are ready to put together our tripod, mast, and solar panel. On screen currently you can see the internals of the rig. This is what we plan on doing in the next installment of the series. Thank you guys so much for the feedback. I've already noticed a change in the quality of my videos and I couldn't have done that without hearing your opinions. With all of that addressed, let's begin the guide. Now that you've seen the tools we'll be using, here's a look at the parts list. The first step is to attach our panel to our panel arm or mount. I start by aligning the holes on the solar panel arm with the holes on the solar panel itself. I'll be using these holes and some hardware to attach the two to each other. Next we attach the bracket that holds the mounting arm. For this part we can use the hardware that came along with the solar panel mount.
Step two is our hose clamps. Now, I like to make my own hose clamps, but this is entirely optional. Uh, the only problem is you might have some trouble finding big enough hose clamps. This is where making your own is very beneficial as you get to decide the size that you want. Once I've cut down the four strips of hose clamp, I then have to attach them to the fasteners. As you can see, I'm attaching the solar panel to this small piece of pipe. The base of this pipe has a smaller diameter than the rest of the pole, which allows me to slide this part uh, in and out of the top of my mast. This makes things really easy because if I ever need to remove my solar panel and antenna, I can do it just by taking off the whole top of the mast. For step three, we're going to be putting everything together. At this point, you should have cut down your mast. Uh, what I normally use is 1 7 8 inch uh, chain link posts that you can buy from any like home improvement store. Uh, unfortunately, they were out, so I had to buy some 1 5 8 That's what you see on the right side of the screen, and that just didn't end up working. So I had to improvise a little bit, but assume that you would cut down your mast to size. I normally like to go three feet of pole, um, but that's up to you as long as everything fits on the unit. And as you can see there, I just simply took the solar panel and antenna part and dropped it into the top of my mast. Um, I normally like to secure that with a self-tapping screw. I just drill it right through the side of the two uh, pieces and that'll make sure that that thing doesn't go anywhere. That pretty much wraps up this part of the guide. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. At this point, we do have something that finally looks like an off-grid unit. The only problem is the enclosure doesn't have any internals in it yet, but we're going to address that in the next one. If you guys do plan on following along or making your own, please do share with me as I'd love to see these things replicated. Thanks for watching and subscribe to stay updated for the next release.